Hey guys and welcome to the first part of my Let's Play The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure and I am so excited for this Let's Play. But first of all, I would like to introduce myself quickly for those of you who don't know me. My name is Manon, I'm French but I do most of my videos in English because I want to improve my accent but also because I want to get more comfortable at talking in English because for some reason I'm really stressed out when it comes to me talking in English, so there you go. And I also mostly do Sims videos because I'm just in love with this game. I got into it when I was probably six or seven years old. And since then, The Sims, it's like food to me. I need to play some Sims to stay healthy. <laughs> so there you go, this is me. Hello. Uh, now, let me introduce you to the characters we're going to be playing with. So here you have George McMillian. George, he's a really, really richy, rich man. He, he did pretty much everything in his life. But now that he's getting on the years, he started to think about what he's never done in his life, and that is to explore the jungle and discover a new civilization. So he decided to hire one of the best explorer and archaeologist he's heard about, and this is Darius Jones. Just there. So Darius, he went on a lot of adventures and he discovered a lot of lost civilizations which made him really famous. But in his last adventure, he got injured and didn't go back. Since then, he's been teaching archaeology, history, and all of that kind of stuff in universities, but he's been missing a lot the excitement of going and exploring the nature. So when George called him and asked him if he would be his guide in the jungle, Darius didn't think twice and said yes right away. But Darius, he's actually kind of stressed out because th the last time he went onto an adventure, he got injured, so he doesn't know how this one is gonna go, and he's really hoping that things are gonna go well. There is one last character I need to introduce you to, and her name is Jane Elmwood. So Jane, she is George's ex-wife's niece. So basically, George, he was married to a woman once, but he, because he was so focused on his job, and he wasn't taking care at all of his relationship with his wife, she decided to divorce him, but they stayed on good terms, they're still really good friends. And once he was invited to a dinner with his ex-wife's family and he started to tell everyone about his new adventure and what he wanted to do. And Jane, who just got her degree uh, into art history and archaeology, she was really interested to join him in this adventure because this can be a really great opportunity for her career. So of course George said yes, but Darius, he's not really okay with that. I mean, he's kind of stressed out. Now, now he has to take care of two complete amateurs in adventure. Even though Jane, she knows a little bit more than jo uh, George does because of course she knows the theory of archaeology and adventure, but there's a huge difference between theory and practice, and I think Jane, she's going to discover this through this adventure. So there you go, these are the sims we're going to be playing with and their backstory. Now quickly, I would like to show you their personality and their outfits. So George, I gave him the curator aspiration because he's a businessman at heart, and all of the artifacts and relics oh. they're going to find, he would like to sell them so that he can make some money out of it. I mean, he's a businessman, so there you go. Uh, so this is why I gave him this aspiration, because I think this is one of the aspirations with which you need to complete a collection. Even though I'm not going to focus on this one, I just wanted him to have it. Otherwise, for his personality, he's an insider, he's clumsy, and he's materialistic. Uh, then for his outfits, he has one of the new hats, a new shirt, Otherwise, the pants and the shoes come from outdoor retreat. Uh, then for his formal outfit, uh, athletic wear and party outfit. I didn't go too overwhelmed for these ones, it, except for this one. I mean, this is one of the new shirts. And he also has the new hair. And for some reason, he makes me think of uh, Robin Williams. I don't know why, but he makes me think of him. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we're going to see him into those three different outfits. Uh, then he has his sleepwear and his swimwear. So there you go. Uh, then for Darius, uh, he is a loner. He's self-assured and he loves the outdoors. And he has one of the new aspirations that came with Jungle Adventure. He wants to become a jungle explorer. And I gave him uh, a new hat, new shirt, new pants and new shoes as well. Um, 
same for his formal outfit. I just left the the hat on him because I thought this was kind of funny. He's, uh -huh. if you couldn't tell, inspired from um, Indiana Jones. There you go. <laughs> uh, then he th his athletic wear, sleepwear, party outfit, which I really, really love. I love this outfit on him. And his swimwear. Uh, then for Jane, Jane, she's a bookworm, she's creative, and she's outgoing, and she has the other new um, aspiration, which is to become an archaeologist scholar. And yeah, she just got out of school. Um, she has, I think this hat is base game. These shoes comes from come from uh, cats and dogs. Otherwise, the pants, the the pants, the shirts, and the bracelets come from jungle adventure here is her formal outfit and i gave her one of the new hat and i think they're really really great on her uh, i was also thinking maybe giving her the other new hair uh those one but i don't know maybe maybe later on in the let's play but for now i really really like this one for her then this is her athletic wear sleepwear uh party outfit which is one of the new dress that came with the game pack and then her swimwear, which I really, really like. I think you know that she's kind of shy still and she doesn't want to show too much too much skin. And this top came with uh, the laundry, stay, laundry day stuff pack and I think it goes really well with the feel of this game pack. So there you go, these are the sims and now let's go into the game. Alright, so there we are. Uh, we are actually in the marketplace. I'm starting right away here because I was imagining that the three of them, you know, they're not living together. They're just together for this adventure. So they just got into a boat and they just arrived at the marketplace. And later on in the day, they're going to go where they're going to spend the night. And then hopefully they will go on an adventure. But first of all, I really want for them to get ready, have all of the things they need to go on an adventure so that nobody's gonna die because I'm really afraid of this actually <laughs> so as you can see we are in the marketplace and this is the cantina this is where we are uh, so first of all uh, I would like to see their aspirations I think the one we're going to start with first is Darius's one uh, because his aspiration he needs to buy three goods from the marketplace which we are going to definitely do uh, he needs to eat a Salvadoradian meal and view the statue of Madre Kutsicha? I don't know how to say this. And what does he want to do? He wants to cloud gaze with Jane and catch a fish. Okay. Uh, so first of all, I would like for maybe them all to go and view together this statue. And I don't know if you can hear the, the sounds of this place, but there is, yeah, there is the birds and all of that kind of stuff. It's beautiful. Anyway, let's read this. Salvadoradian culture skill acquired. Hopefully I'm hoping that I'm saying this right. I don't know. I apologize if I'm not doing saying this correctly. Anyway, so Darius has begun to understand the Salvadoradian culture. He will be able to ask about local sites and find out more about the local heritage. The local foods will be a strong culinary adventure. Alrighty then. So I think all of them are going to discover this. Uh, quickly, I would like to show you their inventory. So. Darius, he has a machete, uh, he already has a spider, repellent, he also has a fireplace, a guitar, a tent, and a archaeology table. Uh, George, he only has a tent in his inventory, while Jane, she has a camera, because I would love for her to take a lot of pictures of this place, and maybe at some point expose all of the, all of the pictures she's taken throughout this adventure. And also she has a tent, she also has uh, an archaeology table, of course, because she's a student in archaeology, or at least she was. Okay, so let's take a picture of this, this sculpture. Maybe we should take, oh, I like that, it's great. With the cantina just behind, it's beautiful. And I've actually never really explored the um, photography skills, so this is going to be really interesting for me to take some pictures and see how great it is changes the quality of the, of the photos. So of course Jane and George, they already know each other, they're really good friends. Uh, let's have them talk maybe together. First of all, oh there's two vendor. Okay, so, oh there's a machete. Is there another one here? here? Because I think if we have more machetes we can maybe use one. 
Okay, so Jane, or no, Darius is going to buy the machete. Uh, let's purchase this. Uh, buy this as well. I think I'm going to buy all of them because I really want to have as many things as we can. So let's buy that. Uh, stop watching TV, Darius. And Jane, uh, you're going to buy all the water in the bottle. Uh, water in the bottle. <laughs> Shower in a bottle. I think we should maybe also... What? Plasma butt bait? Let's buy that. And this is also spider repellent. Of course we have a lot of money because George is paying for everything and he's full of money. So <laughs> that's okay. Wow, we're buying so many things. So how many... So we have four water uh, shower in a bottle. How many spiders repellent do we have? We have four. Uh, we're going to have a fifth one. Maybe, maybe we could buy more. I'm actually really afraid of spiders. So if my sims can get protected from those, that would be great. Uh, let's have Jane do uh, a friendly introduction. And Darius as well. Let's go and meet this guy. Uh, friendly introduction. What else does he need for his... Oh, he just need to eat a silver radiant skill. Uh, skill. Meal. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we're going to do that once he's hungry. Yeah, he's not really that hungry yet. Maybe we can get to know a little bit more about the jungle, because even though... Even though Darius, he explored some nature spaces, some forest, jungles already, he never really explored this one, so he doesn't know anything about it. So let's see, excursions into the jungle can take all day and all night. Make sure to stock up and on supplies like the grilled cheese ready to eat or a kind of liquid rush. When you get hungry or are low on energy, you will be glad you have them. Okay, so I think these are the grilled cheese ready to eat. Maybe we should buy some of those even though we have a fireplace. I don't know if we can place one into, into the jungle. And this little sculpture are really cool. These are Amis candles. I don't know how to pronounce this actually. Let's talk a little bit more. Uh, friendly... Chat about local sites. Friendly... Oh, George just went by. Oh, he went to hug his knees. Maybe we should talk to her. Let's do a cheerful introduction. Okay, so Darius, he reached Salvadoradian culture skill level 2. So Darius is becoming more acquainted with the local Salvadorada culture. He can try the local salutation on Salvadoradian introduction. Or Salvadoradian introduction, sorry. He will be able to share pictures of his vacation here. Oh, great! But actually, this is uh, Jane who's taking the pictures. She wants to be funny with Darius, we can do that later on. Let's get to know a little bit more the the locals. Uh, George, let's discuss local heritage. Oh, look at Darius, he's playing the guitar. <laughs> uh, stop that. Yes, I don't think... Yeah, you've seen that he had a guitar, I mean, it's in his inventory. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit more here, see if there is maybe more more things that we can buy, because I think there is other repellents than the spiders one. I really want to be ready, but at least we have... Oh, look at that! <laughs> We're getting tipped! That's great! Uh, Jane? Let's get to know a bit more the the culture here. Ask about the jungle. Chat about local sites. And she reached level 2 as well. Okay, so there are tales of a grand Amiskan temple deep in the jungle. The rumors of treasure are tempting. But the amount of danger has kept me from searching for myself. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's ask her again. Oh, show pictures of Silva Dorada. Let's do that. Okay, so this it's just like the same interaction as showing pictures, actually. Learn about history of local goods. Let's see. Uh, Darius, can you talk a little bit more with this guy? Ask about the jungle again. And local salutation, maybe. Okay, so we're not... Oh, 
Not too long ago, a pilot wandered out of the jungle. She saw what looked like ancient artifacts in the soil near the plane crash. If you are an ambitious archaeologist, you should search for that plane. Okay, that's interesting. Can we learn something more, maybe? Uh, let's see, learn about history of local goods, maybe. Chat about local sites. I like the idea that we can learn more and more things by asking those people, you know, what's going on in the jungle, what has happened. Okay, but we've actually already learned this one. Anyway, uh, he's not really that hungry. Oh, George learned that Augustina loves the outdoors. Great. Maybe Jane, she can meet her. You know, that's great that they are here. They're actually asking. Oh, Salvadoradian introduction. Let's see. I don't know if they can do that to other people, you know, not Salvadoradians. Oh, that's so cool. Chat about local sites again. Okay, so I, I should actually work on that with Darius because he's the one with uh, the aspiration that focuses more on the culture skill than the archaeology skill. Talk about herbalism, maybe. Oh, he's already at level 3! Already! Let's see. Uh, Darius has started to perfect that local salutation and has developed a taste for the local food. Darius has unlocked new Latin guitar songs. Oh, great! And Jane just reached level 3 as well. They're in sync. <laughs> uh, oh, ask about Omiskan ruins. Friendly? Maybe if we can learn something new by asking for the jungle? Oh, one of the rumors going around is that there are relics that work as a combination key to open temple gates. That sounds preferable to activating the wrong trigger on the trap. Oops, okay. Can we learn something more? Let's do the local salutation again. Ask about Amiskin runes again. Oh, Plasma bats swoop down from the jungle canopy at all hours of the day. Scratches, bites, and guano will ruin your day. Pack a plasma bat bait box to distract them. If you have a high enough fitness, you may outmaneuver them. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, the Amis can build traps into their temple. They didn't intend for the traps to keep everyone out. If you... What? If you... Honed your mind and body, you can easily get past some of the traps. I don't know what this means. Anyway. We actually need to have some fitness and all that kind of stuff. So that's great. Uh, let's ask about the jungle again. I guess if we go up in the culture skill, we can learn more things about the jungle. So it's a really great idea to be spending some time here and talk to you, to the locals. Stuck up in an adventure gear before you set out. There are many natural dangers to overcome on the top of taking care of your basic needs. Okay. There is a myth that the ancient people cultivated trees with mood-altering fruit. Finding truth in that myth would be quite the botanical discovery. Okay. I love that. You know, we're learning some new things. Oh, I like it. Discuss local heritage and... I just want to learn more, you know, about the jungle. Oh, he's already at level 4. So Darius has picked up new moves to try on the dance floor. He also earned enough trust to inquire about local myths. Oh, that's so cool. The Omiskins built traps into their temple. They didn't intend... Oh, we already read this one. Okay, let's see what we can learn now. Inquire about local myths. Let's see. Numerous spiders and bees call the jungle their home and they don't like visitors. If you are logical enough, you can step carefully through the jungle and avoid these dangerous pests. Alrighty then. Oh, that's so interesting. Um, let's ask him something else. Chat about local sites. Okay, so he's actually feeling confident. I think he's thinking that... He's starting to get ready for this new adventure. I'm wondering if... Oh, discuss ancient history. Let's see. You know, he's remembering how it is to go on an adventure and how careful you should be. And now that all the locals are telling him 
how to be careful with people, maybe... Maybe he's being way more confident about this. And Jane, she's curious. She wants to know what they're talking about. Ask about career, maybe. Can we learn something or something else, something more? Oh! My grandparents used to sneak off to an old amusement pool deep in the jungle. They said it was once used by royalty. The paths are blocked by overgrown vines now. If you find it while exploring, perhaps you should take a dip. Oh, cool! So this is probably the pool we've seen into the trailers. Friendly, uh... Ask about Amiskan ruins again. Stop playing your guitar, Darius. Friendly, ask about the jungle. Oh, uh, maybe he's leaving? Oh no, he's staying there. So there's... It doesn't seem to be any more uh, things to sell here, no vendors. I would have liked though. Not too long ago, uh, we've already seen this one. Oh, uh, why are you... Oh, bugged in the restroom. He's still talking to Augustina. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, and Jane, she's looking once again at the, uh, the sculpture here. The statue. Uh, she's actually starting to get hungry, so maybe she can order some food. Let's go for a Ripa. This one. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. And she wants to take a selfie. We can do that afterwards. Is George hungry? Not really. Maybe he, can, he can maybe go here. Chat here. Oh look, Mortimer took a picture. That's so cool. Darius is still not hungry though. I think I'm going to have him eat something without being that hungry. Show pictures of Savadorada. Oh, he just became good friends with it. Juan Esteban. That's cool. <gasps> He's at level 5! Darius can now pass as a local and can write travel guides on the computer. He can order off of the secret menu of, at food stalls and market tables. Okay. He has even learned the local secrets to avoiding fire, flies, and lightning bugs in the jungle. Oh, that's cool! Okay, so is this really a 5 level skill? Let's see. Yes, it is! So he completed that skill already! Wow! <laughs> Let's have him eat something. Order from the secret menu. Let's see. Oh! Oh, let's go for this one. Okay! Oh, that's so cool! Okay! Oh, no! It's close! Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> Is this serious? Let's have Jane talk to Augustina. Uh, ask about the jungle. You know she wants to learn herself as well how to, to get into the jungle. How to survive there. Oh, there are some great fishing spots in the jungle if you can find them. Watch out for the snappers. In the jungle, you may be the bait. Ooh. That's weird. That's kind of scary as well. Local salutation. Oh. Everyone knows that the Omiskan people were advanced builders and designed mechanism mistaken for magic. Some people even say the temple itself changes to confuse intruders. Oh, cool. What an incredible combination of flavors. Now that Jane has eaten a Ripa... Uh, thing thing? <laughs> I don't know how to say this. I don't know. She can now make it at home whenever she wants, though... How tasty it is depends upon her homestyle cooking skill. Okay. Alrighty then. So many notifications. Okay, Darius, we need for you to order from the secret menu. Uh, this one? Okay, let's go. What did you do? Did you, did you see what he did? That was cool. Uh, is George hungry? He's starting, so let's go and order some food. Uh, this one. I don't think we're going to have another another vendor for today, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to, to where we can sleep, uh, the place they're actually renting to, to sleep at. I don't know how to call this, I'm so sorry, but anyway. And maybe tomorrow morning we can come back here, see if we can buy other things to survive in the jungle, and then we're gonna go on to an adventure. So let's have George ask Darius if he... If he's learned a lot of things about the jungle, how to survive there, where to find the temple, and find all of the artifacts, all that they need to make some money out of it. 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, Jane, she's still using the bathroom, so you should join here, sit here. But yeah, I think they're almost ready to go into the jungle. Oh, there's a new vendor here. But she's still selling the same thing. Oh, there's new machetes. Maybe we should buy those. Uh, Jane, she's going to buy one. Maybe she's not going to tell anyone about this one. Let's buy this. I would like to have a lot of those because I don't know... I actually want just to go into the jungle and then not come back for a while. So let's buy as many things as we can. And then I would like maybe for her to take a selfie. And I think, I think we have enough right now. So let's have her maybe take a selfie. And then I think I'm going to end this part here. Uh, take a photo of. Take a photo with. We cannot take a selfie? Oh, maybe just with that. Take a selfie. Oh, there's just... there. There's George behind. Uh, that's actually weird that we can see the phone here. Uh, oh, with the plants just behind. Maybe like that. Oh, like that is better. Let's go for that. Alrighty then. So I think they're almost ready to go on an adventure. But what I'm gonna do actually is send all of them back to the place, the, the place they're staying at. At least for this night, and then I will resume in the next morning, but this is going to be in the next part, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!